Hi everyone, and welcome to the final video in the Autodesk Smoke 3D Stereoscopic Training Series. In the previous session, we looked at how action could be used to create a stereoscopic composition from scratch. I hope that has given you a general idea as to the benefits of what you can do in terms of 3D stereoscopic compositing. Another angle to consider is if you have been given a 3D composition and you're required to convert it into a 3D stereoscopic one. Now the one point to remember is that the 3D stereoscopic tools in Autodesk Smoke is simply an extension of the 3D environment. In other words, you can take a regular composition, add a 3D stereoscopic camera rig, and Smoke will take care of the rest. Let's have a look at this in greater detail. Here we have a normal 3D composite that has been built inside the Action Compositor. When orbiting around the composite, you can see that it consists of a few high-resolution backplates, talent keyed out on a green screen, and there is also edge ray lighting being used for dramatic effect. I'll reset the default camera to return back to the original camera position. To take a composite like this and convert it into a 3D stereoscopic is quite simple. The way you look at a composite is typically through the camera. So you can switch to the node bin menu and by scrolling the nodes you will find a node called Camera FBX. You can press the escape hotkey on the keyboard to see the schematic view that will show the objects of our composite. By double clicking on the Camera FBX node in the node bin it will be added into the composite. Note the mode of the FBX camera is currently set to mono. You can double click on the node to bring up its object menu settings. Also remember to press the escape hotkey again to return back to the camera view. The first step is to tell Action which camera you'd like to use as the default camera. Currently it is set to the first camera that was originally used in the composite. You can switch from the default cam to camera 1 and now you are looking through the FBX camera. Everything is still monoscopic, so change the basic mode from mono to stereo. The camera rig updates itself and you can now set the viewer to display the stereoscopic output. This is a pop-up button located to the bottom left of the viewer. Please put on your stereoscopic anaglyph glasses. The next thing we might want to do is turn off the icons as they are not displaced in stereo. Press the Ctrl I hotkey on the keyboard to disable the icons. The same hotkey combination will turn the icons back on again when you need them. Secondly, you will notice that the stereoscopic effect is only visible within the composite frame. If this is an issue for you, simply hold down the Ctrl hotkey on the keyboard and click the Home button to the right of the interface which will fit the composite frame to the viewing area. To illustrate that everything in the composite is being displayed in 3D stereoscopic, I'll adjust the camera rig's X position and you can see the stereoscopic effect from the different angle. Even the edge rays are being projected towards the camera as well as 3D depth being applied. The stereoscopic camera rig uses the 3D environment in action to establish the depth perception of the scene. You can adjust the settings in the camera for different effects. Please take off your stereoscopic anaglyph glasses. When rendering out a 3D stereoscopic composition, action will render the left eye and the right eye separately. You would then combine them using the desktop method to create a stereo track. I showed this method in the first video of the series. So when creating a stereoscopic composition from scratch, normally the render settings will be automatically taken care of. However, when it comes to creating a 3D stereoscopic conversion, you will need to set the render output. The output menu is located to the left of the interface and the renderer is defaulted to output a mono version of the composite. If you switch the pop-up option from mono to stereo, Action will now render both left and right eyes of the composite. Remember to go back to frame 1 and press the process button to perform the render. Action will now render each eye separately in one go, which will produce two clips for the desktop. Now if you exit Action to the left of the interface, you will see the two new clips. To combine them into a stereo track, select the stereo menu from the blue pop-up and choose the stereo track option. 
select the left eye using the red arrow cursor by clicking on the top left of the clip. Select the right eye using the blue arrow cursor by clicking on the top left of that clip. Now click anywhere on the desktop to create the stereo clip. You can now edit the stereoscopic clip into the stereoscopic timeline and move on to the next shot. Once all of this is done, we can now deal with outputting. When looking at the stereoscopic display in the timeline or in action, these are simply just that. You are always still dealing with a separate left eye and a separate right eye source. In order to do your deliverables, depending where the finals are going, you will need to deliver in a variety of formats. Some clients might want the left and right eye separate, whereas others may want a dual image output. Traditionally on the web, there are plenty of anaglyph videos as well. Whatever your requirements, Autodesk Smoke can cater for your deliverable needs. To create a left eye and right eye version of the deliverable, you can choose the Stereo Track button in the Stereo menu. You can change the pop-up menu to Split Stereo Track and you will be given a left eye and right eye clip. You can either output this to tape or export the clips as files. If your deliverable is an anaglyph, interlaced or dual image version, you can use the Stereo button in the Stereo menu. The Quick menu allows you to define an input, whether it is a Stereo track or separate left and right eyes. You can set the Stereo mode of the deliverable, followed by the type of method that goes with the chosen Stereo mode. To see the settings before you apply the process, you can select the Stereo clip on the top left hand corner and the Stereo button will display the Editor option. Click the E button and click on the desktop. Now you can try out the different deliverable modes before you process an output. The anaglyph can be displayed in various ways as well as tweaking your own settings. This output is a really easy way to get basic video onto the internet. The interlaced mode lets you define which eye is field 1 and field 2. This output could be used as a broadcast deliverable depending on the broadcast requirements. The final mode is the dual image mode where you can define a side by side or a above and below view. Once again broadcasters use this output as a deliverable format. Even YouTube is now accepting this as a standard format to take advantage of the 3D stereoscopic features it now offers. In summary we've covered inputting, editing, compositing and outputting of 3D stereoscopic media from Autodesk Smoke. The 3D stereoscopic tools are flexible as well as directly integrated into the Autodesk Smoke software. This allows you to be able to meet your 3D stereoscopic finishing requirements. For more information about Autodesk Smoke or to download a free trial copy, please visit autodesk.com slash smoke for Mac. I hope you've enjoyed the stereoscopic training series and thanks for watching.